Hello Scorpio. Welcome to your you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where this is all headed. Uh, as always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, check out my playlist for Scorpio. There might be a video there that resonates for you. And finally, this reading is for those of you who are already in a connection or already have someone in mind. Okay, so let's jump into it. Scorpio, spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Scorpio regarding love? For Scorpio, what messages do you have for Scorpio regarding love? This one. You deserve love. You are lovable. Bottom of the deck, I have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life okay let's see what the kipper deck all of the decks that i'm using are linked in the description box uh along with the rings that i'm wearing and any of my other products everything you want to know is in there for scorpio what do we need to know for scorpio regarding their connection spirit what do we need to know for Scorpio regarding their connection. Number 17, gift. Mm -mm. Oh, that was sloppy. Okay, what else? So you're getting something, Scorpio. You're being given something. Maybe by spirit or this other person. Tell me more for Scorpio. Oh, I got two more. Mature woman, number six. And unexpected income. Interesting, when I saw this card, I thought of the Ace of Pentacles. You're being given something uh, tangible is what I'm getting. Something you can touch. Something solid. Um, if it's not like an actual gift, it's almost like a promise that comes to fruition. Something like that mature woman there could be somebody that you know that is older an older feminine energy i'm not taking this to be a female specifically but more like a mature feminine energy i'm thinking of the empress here i'm getting like a mother type of vibe i don't know That's a weird message. <laughs> okay. So for some of you, this is somebody that um, you've been waiting for a long time as you've aged. So a long time has passed, years, 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 years. That's not for everyone, but I'm getting the sense of you waiting for this to come, you know? Like this is something that you feel you deserve. This is something you've waited for patiently and I feel like you've grown since the last time that you had some sort of a connection with this person. But that's only for some of you. I'm not getting that for all. It was a very specific message that I got. So you're definitely being given something. Okay, this could be a job offer for some of you as well. Um, and that could lead to some sort of a connection. We'll see. You put these to the side. So Scorpio, I have two decks here, one for you, one for your person. Um, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, Spirit, tell me more about Scorpio's energy. Tell me more about Scorpio's energy, please. What are the energies that Scorpio is bringing to this connection? The energies that Scorpio is bringing to this connection. Oh, wow, we got true love, love union coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. This is one of my favorite cards. So I feel like you have a lot of feelings for this person, um, whoever this this is. Um, this, I feel, is someone you already know because, I don't know. If, if this isn't someone that you know, you're going to know them very soon and it's going to feel like you've always known them. Because I feel like this mature woman is almost telling me like, I 
don't know, almost like a, there's an expectation here. We'll see. Tell me more about Scorpio's energy, Spirit. Tell me more about Scorpio's energy. Stingray. Stingray is a card about pressure. Um, like almost like giving in to pressure not having full confidence or courage to stand up to something there could be fear here on your end scorpio we'll see get some cards my god i opened the deck and there's a two of cups and then on the other side the knight the knight of pentacles wow okay let's see spirit give me some insight into scorpio's energy please what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, we got the Page of Wands. Kind of fell out of the deck there. And the Five of Wands. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Page of Wands, Spirit. Strength. Leo energy. Yeah, there's almost like finding courage, finding strength. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Possibly even regaining control here. Because this Five of Wands, there could be um, a lot going on right now. Conflict, drama. The Sun reverse, Four of Wands reverse. Hmm. It's at the bottom of the deck. Magician reverse. So there's something here that didn't work out for you. Uh, maybe there's an instability in the home, in your home life. Um, with the sun reverse and the four of wands reverse and this requires now strength I feel like there was something that maybe you weren't able to manifest with the magician reverse behind that I have the page of cups reverse so there's disappointment here um, you could also be dealing with a manipulative person someone that uses emotions to their advantage here oops <laughs> so there's definitely something here that um, I think you want to kind of get a grasp on uh, to begin something here. There's an attraction and um, kind of a desire here with the Page of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? Death. There you are, Scorpio. Endings, changes. Yeah, tell me about the Five of Wands. Got two. Seven of Wands. Again, strength, Seven of Wands. Standing up for something, having courage. I feel like you're finding your footing here. You're finding the courage to do something. King of Swords, definitely. This is somebody that does not let emotions get in the way. They are extremely wise, intellectual. They have no problem getting rid of what no longer serves them or what stands in the way. Now I have the Page of Wands, King of Swords. There could be some sort of communication here. Something that is being communicated um, in a serious manner. I feel like there's some sort of ending here either after some sort of conflict or the fact that you've decided to end a situation is bringing about some sort of challenge. And you're standing up for this or standing up to this. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, look at this. The Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity. I saw the Ace of Pentacles with unexpected income. There's a new opportunity here. And I feel like you want to go after it. 
Let's look at your person, Scorpio. Let's look at their energies. Spirit, tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with at this time. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with at this time. What is Scorpio? need to know about this other person. Wow, we got new beginnings. Beginnings, new day, journey. You're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. Hmm, burden heart at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Where is... Oh. So when I see, see that bird in heart, I think of uh, the Ten of Wands, which is a card about difficulty, um, burdens, obligations, but almost getting to the finish line to drop this load, right? So it makes sense to me that the New Beginnings card is here. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Shark. Okay, so this is a card about tension. Um, something that needs to be addressed. You can't ignore. This isn't uh, kind of like the elephant in the room. Directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. Yeah, this is something like the king of swords. Something big needs to be exposed, lurking in the depths and creating tension. Shark energy takes over us when we are hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. Okay, so basically this is something that, yeah, you cannot ignore. Whatever is hidden under the surface, the shark is pretty much like daring you to bring it out. And I think this is going to start a new beginning. Very interesting, Scorpio, because I feel like this shark is the complete opposite of this stingray. <laughs> So it's almost like I'm picturing someone that takes you out of this energy, someone that helps you find your courage. I don't know if it's because, you know, the desire is there. And so, you know, it kind of pushes you. Tell me more about this person spirit that Scorpio is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. That's what you always do with, please. More about this person. Six of Wands. And this deck is torches, but it's a Six of Wands. Tell me more about this person. Queen of Pentacles reverse. <clears throat> hmm. Let's clarify. Why is the Six of Wands here? Queen of Cups. It's funny because in this deck, this person is looking over at you, Scorpio. <laughs> and it's like they're pointing at you like, that's who I want. That's where my feelings lie, you know? Just funny how it landed here. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a card about recognition, success, being seen. I feel like you're looking at each other here. Queen of Swords Reverse. Who are all these people? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles Reverse, Queen of Swords Reverse, Queen of, of Cups. I got one more for the Six of Wands, please. Interesting. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person wants you, Scorpio. You are their wish 
fulfillment. Um, you, at least emotionally, I feel like this is someone that... Um, I, I heard emotionally invested. There's There's deep emotions here. And this person knows what they want when it comes to you. There's no doubt in this person's mind that they want success with you. They want something here with you. But then I have this Queen of Swords reverse and then the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Mm. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Interesting. There could be um, one of you or both of you could already be in a long-term commitment here. Judgment. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Knight, oh, King of Wands reverse. Okay. I'm getting a few messages here. I'm going to try to separate them as best as I can because I feel like I'm reading for at least two different types of Scorpios. The first message I'm getting is that there is someone in the way of this person being able to have their wish fulfillment with you. They want a second chance or to revive something here, but there's, there's, there's a challenge. Possibly a marriage. For the other group of Scorpios, I feel like this is the person that you are currently with and they don't want you to have a new beginning. They they are going to try to make this as difficult as possible for you. You could be married to this person. And I feel like that's why I'm, you know, there cuz there's two very different energies here. They're the shark energy, you're the stingray energy. Um, this person is more bold and I feel like they're just going to want to address something like they don't want to hide something anymore here. Let's see, what would this person say? What are they thinking or feeling here? Using my secret moon oracle deck. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling spirit this person at Scorpio is dealing with if um I, I, another message that I'm getting is that this is a family drama uh, all these people the five of wands and then I have um king of wands one two three four people here so you know it makes a lot of sense to me that if there is family drama is involving a lot of people but i'm not picking that up for a lot of you it could even be a mother an older feminine energy kind of like the matriarch um for some of you but um i feel like the first two messages that i shared those are the main the main groups here tell me about this person i'm heartbroken Tell me about this person, Spirit. I wasn't ready. I have a choice to make. interesting I'm still getting the same messages um, I have a choice to make I think that's this judgment card a judgment call needs to be made here 
let's see where's all of this headed next this is what's going on right now but what's next here what's next between these two spirit i'm gonna pick a few cards for the potential outcome here in the near future where is all of this headed for scorpio but there's definitely an elephant in the room here and a lot of potential drama i gotta say where's all this headed for scorpio Okay, we got the hangman reverse. Let me move these over. You know, and it's funny because I feel like this gift that we got here is a new a new opportunity, a new beginning. That's the gift. A second chance for something else, a do-over. Where's all of this headed for Scorpio? And I feel like it might be unexpected because we have this card, unexpected income. Where is all this headed? The Emperor reverse, yikes. Aries energy. Where is all this? What's next for Scorpio and this other person? King of Cups. Um, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, death. Scorpio energy once again. Scorpio, I feel like you intuitively know what you need to do, what you want to do here with the King of Cups and the Death card. I feel like you're listening to your heart, listening to your intuition here. Um, behind that, I have the Seven of Wands. So once again, standing up for yourself, being firm, grounded here against any challenge, any opposition. I think you already know what's going to happen. You're just trying to mentally prepare yourself for it. Now, the Emperor Reverse, this could be somebody that is not happy um, in the way, uh, or maybe you're not able, you know, maybe you feel powerless at this time to bring the situation back under control, but I feel like you're finding your footing. With the Hangman Reverse, I feel like you're stuck. You or this other person, take, you know, flip it if it resonates more. I feel like someone is a bit stuck and needs to become unstuck uh, but that's going to require some sort of courage here to either you know cause this change or ending or to deal with this person i feel like you're ready for something new and i don't know it's almost like maybe in the past you didn't stand up for what you truly desired but now it's different things are different now for you and I feel like there's going to be some serious drama ahead here but you're gonna be strong enough to deal with it because you're in this king of swords energy you're listening you know you're, you're dealing with this with strength with dignity seven of wands strength king of swords I mean this is serious business here this is you not taking any BS um if this resonated for you scorpio leave me a comment let me know i'd love to hear from you hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings um i'd love to have you be part of the channel and i will see you all in another video very soon take care